What's up, y'all? It's Lori from the Simpsons Fitness and Adventure Sports in White House, Texas. So we have Top Fuels, and they have some killer deals on them. There's a new generation out, and there is a difference, but I'm super impressed with these still being around. But the suspension is 130, 120, and this series is a good series because it's like a race bike, which climbs good because it's lightweight, and is real, you know, fast on the front. Had a baby with like a trail bike or kind of like an enduro bike, so it climbs and descends good. So it's a good bike for both. So for our area, it's an excellent choice. And back in the day, which was things like five years ago, I had one, mine was 120, 120 back then. And people are pulling fast times on these. Like I actually got a QOM and held it for five years on a Trek Top Fuel 9.8. So it's a legit bike. That you can do a lot with you can take it to Arkansas you know everything around here um, as far as just this one is a 9-8 carbon it's a project one so it's a cool paint job it's got a carbon bar so it's very aerodynamic and flat and as far as this is pretty cool so it this one has electronic shifting the one that we were he was really wanting it was a little bit less money we couldn't get it it took like 60 days so they still are current they just have different generations so he chose the electronic shifting and all it is is there's a battery back here obviously and it's sending a pulse from here to here to adjust your shifting and then there's a flat chain and it's a t-type so the flat chain is actually stronger and it's flat on top so it has more strength as opposed to being that little curve at the bottom the t-type is interesting because there's no derailleur hanger. Because the Eagle Transmission derailleur mounts directly to UDH compatible frames, its full mount design works around the one constant on every mountain bike. The center of the rear axle. This removes all variants across different bike designs. And if there's no derailleur hanger, it's less likely to have an issue. Probably a lot of people come in here and it's bent. Can over there because they're, they're doing a lot of work. Can over there real fast. Yay! <laughs> it's a T-type, so essentially it's not going to get bent. It's in the center of the axle, so this is the strongest point right here is the center. So it's basically strong. You can jump on this if you want. If you crash, it goes, like it gets back in alignment. And they Does it make that a, sound when, when it goes back into alignment? Uh, they even have like an app on your phone, which if you need a new chain, it like tells you the measurement and everything and then it's just wild and you can change like I, at first i was a little worried i was like oh the bike shop mechanics you know never gonna be around anymore after all this t-type stuff but y'all still come and see us um but you can also change the buttons on here where if you want this one up or down just you know and then uh like say, say if someone had like a bad finger you can adjust what button is up or down and on some of them like if it was electronic dropper posts this is not you can also adjust you know which one is up or down on this but this one is obviously a cable but the benefit of a dropper post is yeah you can get on off the bike easier but the main thing is that you can get your weight down low and then lean in the corners and not have to let you know, you're not having to like brake so hard. So you're maintaining that speed through the corners. So it's a pretty neat, well, it's mandatory. I mean, like even on my road bike, I was sitting there like, where's the driver? So I was so used to using it. <laughs> yeah, y'all know road rides. Uh, there's this big downhill and I'm like, where's the dropper? Or no, going over those railroads, or railroads, it's horrible. So this is a little storage area where you can store your flat pack stuff. You got your you know co2 hopefully you don't have to use your tire levers because this thing is tubeless so essentially if this is your tire and this is the tube the tube is gone so you can reduce that air pressure where it gives you get a hole and just keep rolling and you refresh the sealant Ooh, you're being weird do it again <laughs> there's sealant yeah david's panel <laughs> david really fast there's, yeah. sealant in here. <laughs> like, like, oh. yeah. anyway, <laughs> there's sealant in here that you know 
it does dry up, you know, once every couple of months and you're gonna have to redo it. But hey, it, it sure does beat a flat. These uh, actual tires that are on here, are, I actually own these tires. And you can tell that I don't have too many flats because I ride an e-bike and I don't have this little port like this. So there's a motor there with me. Um, I ride these tires, they're on my Fuel EXE. So it's a good tire. I think it's a two point, what is this? A 29 by 2.40. So it's a good working tire. Um, and then these are carbon rims. These are the same rims that I run on my Trek rail. So it's a good durable rim. There's my Trek rail right there. Yeah. It's like, they're like, hey. Hi, I'm her rail. Ew, that sounds <laughs> weird. That's super stupid. So, yeah, and then you got this Hi. cake plate right here, which is pretty cool. So there's been some times when I've used mine, like there would be like a drop and all of a sudden I wasn't going fast enough. And then, yeah, the drop ended up dropping right there because I didn't realize how big it was. I'm like, oh, there's a rock. And I just take it and it's like, <clears throat> you'll hear this big thump. So it protects your carbon right there. Uh, obviously, duh, at this price point, anything with a nine point is all carbon. So it's just uh, the way to go. So they're cheap enough. And the only thing different between like the newest generation, not, there's probably a couple things, but they have like a flip plate on the other one where you can adjust the geometry and like lower the bottom bracket where the fork kicks out on the newest one. And then you can put a 27 and a half and make it a mullet on the new one. So it's like, the bike is like, hey, I like to ride park. Hey, I like to do cross country. Yeah, so, but these are such a killer deal. I mean, it's an amazing bike. Like it's gonna handle really good. You can do a lot of different things with it. So it's the all around bike. It's like a baby. <laughs> It's, baby. <laughs> it's an all around. It's an what all around are you baby. Doing over there? It's he an all around part. baby. It's like it's like a race bike oh and baby God. with a trail bike. All right, do a high kick over there. All right, peace yeah. out. He was doing crazy stuff. Peace out, y'all. Like and subscribe. You guys watch, but you got to subscribe.